Hello and welcome to this instruction video for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. Today's video's topic is Report Settings in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2017. My name is Teunis Modderman and this video is presented to you by DSA Global Solutions. In this video you will learn more about the concept of Report Settings in Microsoft Dynamics NAV, how to manually create and adjust your saved Report Settings, and finally, how to avoid that the report settings will pop up every time that you print a report. Let's head for Microsoft Dynamics NAV for a quick demo. In this demo, I would like to print a detailed trial balance. Please notice that when I start a report, it will just look like any other report that you have ever printed for the first time. You might or might not get an options page, with some options that you can select. You will see a list of fields where you might place some filters, like here the GL accounts for which a trial balance is going to be printed. And finally, you may see some limit total options which influence the way that the totals are being calculated. Other reports in Microsoft Dynamics NIV will look pretty similar, although some of these sections might not be there depending on the report that you are printing. Let's hit the preview button in order to print the report for the first time. But I'll close the preview since at this moment we are not really interested in the output. If I would print the report for a second time, a new option would appear called Saved Settings. And we didn't see it the first time. And it asks me whether I want to use those settings. It gives me only one option being Last Used Options and Filters. And if I click on it, you will see that there are no other options. And this doesn't change if I would print the report for the third or time or the fourth time and so on. Even if I select Advanced, I will not be able to change anything. It looks as if Microsoft has added an annoying option that isn't very useful and that just takes some precious space on my computer screen. However, what you should know is that it actually is possible to store and retrieve the settings that you use. You can even store settings not just for yourself, but also for other users. For doing that, the first thing you should know is which number the report does have that you are printing. Every report has a unique number, and to find out which number that is, you simply start the report, like I've already done. You click on the little blue button in the upper left corner over here, select Help, and then about this page. This tells you that the report, the detailed trial balance, is actually number four. Now let's close the report and let's go to the report settings window. I'll use the full path instead of using the search bar and for doing that I go to administration, I go to application setup, I go to general and you will find the report settings here under administration. Since report number 4 is the only report that I've printed so far, there's only one line on this page, which has been created when I printed the detailed trial balance. However, if I would print more reports, there would be a line for every re single report, and I can also create lines manually or copy existing lines. In order to create some new report settings for our detailed trial balance, I have to create a new line, fill in the name and the report ID, and then make a choice out of two other options. First, I can se select Shared with all users in order to make the settings that I'm creating available to other users as well. And second, there's also a field called Company Name. If you're familiar with NAV, you probably guess that if you would leave this field blank, you could use the same report settings for all companies. However, this option doesn't work. I expect this to change in the future, since why would there otherwise be this option? But currently it doesn't work. Let's make some filters for the detailed trial balance. And hereby I am assuming that sometimes I want to print that report for balance sheet accounts only. What I have to do is to make a report setting for report number 4, give it a proper name like balance sheet, select report number 4, and in this case I want to share it with all users. After I've done that, I can hit the Modify button, but first I'll have to answer the question, do you want to rename the re record? 
This is a little bit annoying. I expect this to be changed in the future as well. Um, but the reason for this is that some of the fields, like the name and report ID, belong to the key. And after I have filled them in, um, the key is changed. Uh, because the, the page doesn't have a delayed insert property. So I have to do this and select yes. What I can do now is I can select some options, like I only want to see the balance sheet accounts. Let's select new page per GL account, and let's exclude GL accounts that have a balance only. It looks as if the report can be run from here, but please notice that there is only an OK button. So it's not possible to actually print or preview the report from here. All I can do here is to pre-select a set of options that I want to use when I print a report. When, I, when I'm finished with my selection, I'll want to make a second set. I'll choose income statement. Please notice that I will share this with all users. I'll hit modify. And I'll select new page per GL account and include reverse entries and print correction only. And I will select only the income statement accounts and not the balance sheet accounts. And hit OK. Now I'll go back to the report and see what happens. If I will print the report now, I can select one of the new options that I have created. Please also notice that if I select one of those options, all the other options here and here and here are disabled, including the fields and totals. By the way, this behavior depends on the property save values that has been set for the request page. This is maybe a little bit too technical for end users that are watching this video, but for programmers it's good to know that when save values for the request page has been set to no, which is the default value, end users could change the option on the request page also when they, when they have selected the saved settings. They can not only change the, the options here, but also the, the, the filters and the, and the totals. This isn't very logical, maybe, but on the other hand, what is? I had selected the balance sheet option to be available to all users and the income statement set of filters only for me. So I can select them both. If I would open another client, which I have prepared already, and would go to print the balance, digital trial balance over here, you will see that I only get to see the balance sheet option. Okay. By now you have understood how to use the report settings. But what if as a user you don't want to use this? Well, the table in which the report settings are stored is called the object options table. Once you do not provide end users with the read permission on the table, the whole option disappears from the reports. A quick demo will show that to you. If I go to Administration, General, Permission Sets, select the basic permission set, I'll go to Table Object Options, I'll say that nobody has read permission to that table, go back to the other session which is linked to that specific group, select the digital trial balance and you will see that the option has disappeared. It is unfortunately not possible to enable this for some reports and disable it for other reports. You should ask yourself, however, whether you still want to remove the option now that you know how to use it. That's all there is to tell about report settings. Please bear in mind the following. Saved report settings can make your life easier. You can create and modify the settings manually using the report settings page. You can create, create them or deploy them to other users. And you can actually remove the option from all your reports by just not providing reading access to the table object options. I'd like to thank you once again for watching my video.